Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. So if you are new, welcome. If you are not, hey sis or bro, whichever. <laughs> so today's video is a bit of a story time, like kind of sort of a bit of a story time. Um, it, y'all, this is really crazy because I've never actually, I hinted in another video about something that happened with my car back 2018 so a little bit over a year ago um if you're returning you know a lot of y'all already know that i had a crazy ex he was extremely like <sighs> yeah homeboy needed medication um completely like crazy so i'm gonna just go ahead and get into it i'm gonna go ahead and start because y'all this is a whole lot of tea like a whole so let's get into it <laughs> so like i previously said before i was dating this guy we were pretty much on and off like the whole year we were together right like one week we were together next week we were broken up y'all like it really was like kind of ridiculous like we we would break up more than we were actually together throughout this whole year span and it was just it was a lot a lot a lot so like i hinted in another video i have issues with dudes touching my car i don't know why they like to um disrespect my vehicle like uh <laughs> so the first time my car was assaulted um bailey's dad actually busted out my window when she was like 11 months old so that is a very true story he took a bat and busted out my window but we're not talking about that story we're talking about my ex from a year ago because we've we ain't been together in well over a year so how where do i even start because there was just so much drama um so much drama so i want to say the incident happened ugh, august don't quote me on that because i really don't for, don't remember um i want to say it was possibly august we had another incident that happened on mother's day that was pretty crazy but i want to say yeah like this happened like august or maybe june july i don't know it happened within that that round that three months of stuff okay so we were on the whole like breakup thing like not really together and he actually had clothes at my apartment stuff in my apartment like they were just clothes it wasn't anything of relevance like it wasn't like any technology like no tv nothing like it was just clothes like it was close so we were getting into it through text message like just going back and forth going back and forth and i just was so done with the drama like i just did not want to deal with it anymore i had enough like i was just like bruh like this relationship or a situation ship was literally draining me like it was it was too much like I was like, I just, I don't feel like doing this. And I guess he, he liked, he liked the drama. Like he, that's just the type of person he is. He really loved the drama. He was all for it. Like, so he would be like, Hey, well, I'm coming over, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, well, I ain't in the mood for that. So no, you cannot come over. Like you're not coming over. And so, uh, he ended up trying to show up anyway and was knocking at my door. And I'm like, this is my house. I'm not opening the door. I don't have to open the door for you. Because, one, you don't live here. And, two, like, you don't live here. Like, I owe you nothing. So, I didn't open the door. And I guess, so, he decided to call the police. Of course, he knew I was in the house. Like, my car is parked right outside. My car is parked outside, like, you know, it was pretty obvious. So he decided he was going to call the police 
and tell them my daughter was in the house by herself. What? Y'all, I cannot make this shit up. <laughs> I literally cannot make this shit up. He called the police and told them my daughter was in the house alone when she was two. But homeboy, my car is outside. She's clearly not by herself. <laughs> I'm clearly in the house. I'm clearly ignoring you. But that was his way of trying to be controlling. Like, he is a huge narcissist. Like, that was his way of trying to get what he wanted. He's like, I want my clothes. I want my stuff. No, you really didn't. You wanted to argue. You came to my apartment to argue and be dramatic. And... I wasn't here for the shit. Like, I was not here for the shit. I had a long day at work. I was like, nah, I'm not here for it. So, um, he left. And what happened? I want to say he left. I want to say that's what happened. And he came back, like, a few minutes later. Because the police apparently had called him back. And, um, he was just standing outside my apartment. And I'm still ignoring him. Like, I'm not answering the door. Like, you can get your stuff whenever. Just not today. I will put your stuff outside by the curb. Like, I literally have nothing to say to you. I'm like that done, that frustrated. So, uh, uh, the police called. Called him back. He came back. And um, I still wasn't answering the door. So he decided he was going to flat three of my tires. I cannot make this shit up. Like at all. And so I knew it was him. Like I saw him by my car. And you, y'all, that that noise, like that someone slashing tires is a is a very distinct noise. Okay, like it's very distinct. You I've never heard it before, but that was very very distinct so he flat three of them and i should have known that motherfucker had issues because he would always say yeah you know if you only flat three of the tires the person cannot get um the person cannot file with their um insurance company and get the tires replaced so you have to make sure you only flat three of them. And I would think it was like really weird. He was always telling me this. Like I should have caught on then. Like back then. Because first of all. How do you even know that? Like that's that's a weird thing to know. And I know you've never worked for an insurance company. So that's a very weird thing to know. So anyway. So he flat three of my tires. It was a very distinct noise. I was just like wow. Like this motherfucker really slurs three of my tires. And two of them were brand new tires. I had just paid for those. Like, I had worked enough overtime to afford to get two brand new tires because you literally were about to see my tread. Like, I had no, no tread left in the tires. So, I had worked enough overtime where I could uh, be able to um, pay all my bills and get two new tires. And the plan was... For me to work some more overtime and get another two pair of tires. So I would have four brand new tires on my car. Like I said, I'm a single mom. I don't get child support. Like everything was coming out of my own personal check. Like there was no extra funds, right? So me being in disbelief, I called, like I called the police. I directly called the police. I was like, what the fuck? Like excuse excuse the language but this is not a this is not a children's channel so i was like i cannot believe he really did this like he slashed three of my tires what so i called the police and they the dispatcher tells me well man we already have somebody in route apparently he called the police on on you so basically you know that's how i found out he called the police reporting that my daughter was home alone like on some bullshit yeah that's how i found out because the police were like barely less than two minutes away before they got to my apartment so they get here and he's blowing my phone up y'all like blowing my phone up and i'm talking to the police officer i'm telling the police officer everything i'm letting him see all the text messages and everything and the crazy thing about it that incident we had on mother's day it was the same exact cop who came to my house 
on Mother's Day who showed up when he flattened my tires. So the cop already knew what's up. Like he already, he was like, so, so what's up? Like, so, you know, he kept calling and calling and the police officer was like, ma'am, just answer the phone, put him on speaker and don't say nothing. And the whole point was to get him to admit that he flattened my tires. And so I decided to answer the phone and I'm like, what do you want? He's like, Taryn, I just want to talk. Homeboy, you're crazy, right? He's like, I just want to talk. I'm like, there's nothing to talk about. You flat three of my tires. And at first he kept denying. He was like, no, I didn't, no, I didn't, no, I didn't. And I was like, so who did it? Who flat three of my tires then? And he was like, I don't know. I don't know. Then he started saying, Taryn, they're just tires. They're just tires. They're just tires. No, they're not just tires. This is my vehicle. This is how I get to point A to point B. This is how I get to my job. Um, take my daughter to daycare. They're not just tires. And so a cop literally has his little body cam and is recording everything. So then he started saying, um, yeah, he said, okay, they're just tires. Then he got to the point where he was like, I was going to replace them. I get paid next week. I was going to replace the tires. Like, you're tripping. It, they're just tires. And I was like, no, it, say you, say you flatten my tires. And he was like, why do I need to say it? And I was like, no, say you flatten my tires. So he was like, yes, Taryn, I flatten your tires, but I'm going to replace them. I'm going to replace them. And so that's when the cop jumped in. And he was like, excuse me, sir. Sir, this is da 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 from APD. Um, I just heard you admit to flattening her tires. So not only do you have a felony assault case from prior, now you have, you know, um, vandalism or something to her vehicle. Y'all can't make this shit up. I really, I wish I could make this shit up. I wish this, like, I wish I could make it all up and, like, no. But this legit happened. And so he was like, um... That's another form of charges. And homeboy, being the narcissism, narcissistic person that he is, he was like, I never said any of that. I didn't say I flattened her tires. I didn't do that. I wasn't even near her house. And he was like, sir, you called the police on her because you said that she, she had your stuff holding it and she also had her daughter in the house alone. You said that. And then... I was sitting here the whole entire time. I told her to pick up the phone station, but to answer the phone to see what she would say. And you admitted to everything. I haven't, I've recorded everything. And he's like, no, um, I didn't say any of that. I just wanted to get my stuff. She wouldn't open the door. And he was like, well, sir, you called us. We were on the way. We told you to come back. We told you to come back. And instead of you just waiting until we got here where you, when you could have got your stuff, you decided to flat three of her tires. So what sense did that really make? And so, um, of course, back to denying, he wanted to say, well, she kicked me out, blah, 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 blah. And the officer asked me, and I was like, no, I did not. He don't live here. Like, he had stuff here, but he don't live here. That's a huge difference. And so he was like, well, I still want my stuff, blah, 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 blah. And um, I had already told the police officer, I like, as soon as he flapped my tires, I packed all his shit in a trash bag and threw it in the dumpster. And so the police officer was like, well, sir, all your stuff's in the garbage. So if you would like to have someone come over here and dig your stuff out of the garbage can, you can. But you better not come back around here, right? Y'all... I feel so stupid, like, re-entertaining that situation. Like, obviously, I should have been done done um, way long ago, like, when the first incident happened. And, honestly, there was an incident before that one. I really cannot stress it enough, y'all. If a man ever calls you out of your name, puts his hands on you, it doesn't even matter like oh um, like it don't matter leave leave because it will not stop and i had a co-worker tell me that before because her um 
ba her baby daddy, I'm just going to say her baby daddy, um, was very abusive. She was with him for, I want to say, was it 10 years? I don't remember how long, but she was with him for a really long time. And he, she would always express to me, like, hey, Taryn, like, he did it once. He'll do it again. That's the behavior of a um, an abuser. Like, they just, they don't stop. But I just wanted to see the best in this person. I was like, no, you know, like, he was just upset, blah, 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 making up excuses. So, Yeah. I just want to really put out awareness. This is a story time. Yes, it's like, what? Yeah, like, it's really like that. Because if I really, if I had really truly loved myself and didn't settle, it, I would have never been in that situation to begin with. Like, y'all, he flat three of my tires. And luckily, I had some really understanding coworkers because they would come pick me up, drop my daughter off at daycare, um, they didn't ask for gas money. Like, they understood the situation. And then, um, LaBria, y'all know LaBria, she had triple A because y'all didn't have car insurance back then. She had triple A and they were able to tow my car to, uh, to discount tires when my dad had to give me the money for three brand new tires. Like, y'all. <laughs> Like, I'm so grateful for the people that are in my life um, because I wouldn't have known, like, I'd have just been out here, like, alone. But I'm, like, so happy that situation is done with, over with. It's already been, like, a whole year and some change since that situation has happened. And I just want, you know women to know do not settle even men like men don't settle like do not settle for anything um i know what i have on my list i know what i prayed for it to god and god what what is the scripture make your request known i've made my request known so if anything comes into comes to me that i know that's not what i asked for therefore it's a counterfeit i'm good I'm so good on it, y'all. Gucci, okay? So, um, I really hope this helps somebody. I hope this, you know, just brought light in some kind of way. Um, this is Vlogmas Day 4. You guys stay blessed. You guys stay encouraged. And you stay in the word, honey. Bye. Yeah.